India is well known around the world owing to its historical background, diverse cultures and interesting traditions. Its ancient scriptures and texts have been the way of life of its people for thousands of years. Today, the country is taking huge strides in the field of science and technology, paving a way towards a progressive India. So friends, I'm your host Chandrakala and today in our episode of My India, we'll take a look at some of the stories that very well showcase the unique culture and prosperity of our country, stretching from Himalayas to Kanyakumari. India's culture is rooted in colourful traditions that date back to ancient history. Devasnan Purnima is one among these traditions which is observed just 15 days prior to the world-famous Rath Yatra or Chariot Festival. It is believed that the devotee washes away all his sins if he gets the vision of Lord on this day, therefore the occasion attracts lakhs of pilgrims from across the world. Have a look. It is said that faith has immense power to bring people from all walks of life together. These words were seen to take shape when lakhs of devotees stood outside the Jagannath Puri temple just to have a glimpse at the idols of Lord Jagannath and his cousins Devi Subhadra and Lord Balbhadra who are only taken out once in a year for public viewing. These devotees hailing from different parts of the country as well as from abroad have come to witness the unique event of Devasana Purnima also observed as the birthday of Lord Jagannath. The ritual is celebrated just prior to the world-renowned Rath Yatra of the Jagannath Temple and it is believed that it's only once in a year that non-Hindus as well as non-Indians get the opportunity to see these idols. We visited many times, this is not first time, and Snan Yatra and Rath Yatra, only time we can see Lord Jagannath. So it's like very important to us to see Lord Jagannath because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is our Ishtadev. You know, our Ishtadev Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, this is his place. So Gambira and places like that, we have to come and see. Lord Jagannath really made him really the Lord of the universe and Lord of the whole world uh, we should all have the darshan of Lord Jagannath uh, he's not just Purinath, he's not just Arisanath but he's really Jagannath and now Rathiyatra is all over the world um, so Jagannath has brought us all here to him because he wants us here and he wants us closer and closer to him now on this holy day, the idols are escorted from the Ratna Sinhasan located in the sanctum sanctorum of the Puri Jagannath Temple and are brought to Snan Bedi early in the morning. This procession called Pahandi is observed on full moon day of the Jayastha month in which deities are bathed with 108 pitchers of herbal and aromatic water that is taken from the well present inside the Jagannath Temple. The event is brought alive with the sounds of chanting mantras, dance performances and beat of ghantas, drums, buggles and cymbals. After bathing, the deities are dressed up in Gajanan Vesh. This bathing ceremony holds a certain myth behind and bears an immense religious significance for Lord Jagannath devotees. और इसी गजानन बेस का कारण भी अलग है गणपति भट्ट नाम के एक भक्त ने आया था जे कि गणेश जी का भगवान गणेश जी का भक्त था वो जैसे महाराष्ट्र की थे वो आकर देखे कि जगन्नाथ जी वो हाथ नहीं पैर नहीं गणपति का कोई स्वरूप नहीं वो वो नहीं माने कि वो गणपति भगवान है वो लौट गए थे लेकिन भगवान ने उनको फिर बुलाया और गणपति का स्वरूप स्नान मंडप के ऊपर धारण करके महाप्रभु गणपति भट्ट को गजानन बेस का दर्शन दिया था कितने साल पुराना है वो तो बहुत पुराना बात है और जैसे कि इसी दिन से ही जगन्नाथ जी जब स्नान पूर्णिमा आते हैं स्नान मंडप के ऊपर गणपति बेस में भक्त लोगों को दर्शन देते हैं Devasnana Purnima is believed to be one of the oldest and exclusive festivals of Lord Jagannath. Even the rituals performed during the occasions are maintained in the Niladri Mahodaya, a religious text written in Oriya language. As per the Skanda Puran, Raja Indra Yuma said this bathing ceremony when he installed the wooden deities in the temple. 
and even today this ceremony has maintained its charm and is celebrated with lot of zeal and enthusiasm among Indians as well as non-Indians irrespective of their beliefs. एक आठ जाला में भगवान सांत करके लिए अभी भगवान भोजन खा के अभी हाथी वेश में अभी दर्शन देते हैं लाखों लोग भक्त अभी दर्शन लेते हैं अब भगवान का आशीर्वाद कुपा लाभ करते हैं वो आज रात ग्यारह बजे तक के दर्शन चलेंगे इसका बाद भगवान अभी जाकर पंद्रह दिन अनुसर घर में रहेंगे अभी भगवान का भूकार होगा भूकार के लिए अभी पंद्रह दिन भगवान का विश्राम होगा अनुसर घर में यहाँ दैतापति लोग जो है दैतापति पंडे वहीं इसको सेवा करेंगे Thus, the occasion of Deva Snana Purnima, solely being the celebration of Lord Jagannath, is accepted to be one of the most seasoned celebration, highlighting the age-old traditions of India. Well, viewers, India is well known across the world for its unity and diversity, and this variety is implicit to Indian weddings as well. Breaking religious barriers and rising above caste, a couple tied a knot in Kalaburgi district in southern state of Karnataka, upholding the tradition of communal coexistence among myriad faiths espoused in the multicultural society of India. Take a look. Marriages are made in heavens. The proverb goes apt for Vikram and Shabana, who recently tied the nuptial knot in Kalaburgi district of Karnataka. Shabana Rahmat Hussain, who was staying at State Home for Women for past four years, would not believe less it was a red-letter day in her life. Hailing from Vidha district, a Brahmin Vikram was indeed happy to find his better half after an ordeal in search of a right life partner. A simple ceremony was organized at State Home for Women in Kalaburgi, celebrating the communion of two religions. As per the approval of the Department of Women and Child Development Department, we have performed the marriage of Shabana and Vikram. And uh, Shabana is inmate uh, of our institution since three, four years. And uh, we have, as per the consent of the, both the bride and bridegroom, uh, this marriage was performed. Vikram, when first told her family about the girl and her religion, the family members rather took it as an opportunity to celebrate the interfaith harmony among the two religions. They readily agreed upon Vikram's choice and made arrangements to perform his marriage with all the ritualistic traditions. first Vikram runs a micro-irrigation equipment business in Bidar and for him his business and love for his wife are above all the religious and communal barriers. Such stories of love and interfaith harmony could be heard from all nooks and corners of the country. They not only embolden the communal harmony but also foster mutual respect among Myriad's faith espoused in the country. Now a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. A postgraduate botany student in India's southern Trivandrum city combined science and nature in a unique way by digitizing a palace garden on the lines of Digital India Initiative by the Government of India. The young man Akhilesh S. V. Nair documented all the 126 species of both tree and garden plants in the palace campus spanning 21 acres and linked the information with a QR code unique to each of them to a website through a mobile application enabling the general public to get an access to the information about the trees and plants in the garden. The main agenda of this project was to reach our ecosystem and biological diversity to the public uh, because we have to uh, convert our book knowledge to the public knowledge. Um, botany is always considered as a dry subject. The details of the tree accessed with the application include its species, nativity, distribution, botanical character, including flowering period at the moment, but Nair and his professor Dr. A. Ganga Prasad are planning on more diverse and detailed knowledge about the big greens. Kanakakunnu Palace is one of the most important tourist places in Trivandrum and has been declared a heritage monument by Indian National Trust for Art and Cultural Heritage and is a unique model of conservation of biodiversity and ecosystem management.
In a unique move, a village council in Haryana's Sirsa district adopted a resolution that they will not arrange a wedding for daughters of the village without proofs of toilets at the residences of the prospective grooms. This step was undertaken, keeping in mind that often women have to travel a few kilometers to access sanitation facilities, which makes them vulnerable to sexual assault. Locals welcomed the decision of the compulsory toilets for weddings. और हमारी ग्राम पंचायत ने इसके साथ साथ ये भी फैसला लिया है कि हम अपनी बेटी की शादी उसी घर में करेंगे जहाँ आगे सोचालय हो और सोचालय के साथ साथ उस घर में बेटियों की इज्जत होना भी बहुत जरूरी है। In 2017, a Bollywood film titled Toilet Ek Prem Katha was made with an aim to sensitize people about cleanliness and to create awareness about the importance of a toilet. The United Nations in May 2014 said that half of India's people defecate outside, putting people at the risk of cholera, diarrhea, dysentery, hepatitis A and typhoid. Since taking office, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has repeatedly lamented the poor state of sanitation and public cleanliness in India, vowing to solve the problems during his tenure of 5 years. Tibetan spiritual leader the Dalai Lama launched an activity based happiness curriculum for school students in the national capital New Delhi. The launch event was attended by New Delhi's administrative chief Arvind Kejriwal and deputy chief minister and education minister Manish Sisodia along with Dalai Lama. The curriculum includes a happiness period of 45 minutes for all the students up to class 8 in Delhi government schools and will begin with a 5 minute meditation practice and other activities like mental exercises and value education. I think the whole world need some kind of moral ethics education, a moral ethics, not based on religion, but based on our common sense and scientific thinking. Encouraging the initiative, the Dalai Lama said that India should combine modern education and its ancient Indian knowledge to overcome negative emotions such as anger, hatred, and jealousy for physical and mental well-being of the mankind. A cattle rehabilitation center in Rajasthan has decided to initiate a unique cow and bull safari in the city with an aim to educate people about the bovines and their different breeds. Located in the city of Jaipur, the Hingonia Cow Rehabilitation Center has a plan to accommodate 22,000 cows and bulls of mostly indigenous breeds. Indian origin jo breeds hai, wohi rahenge. Aur uh, we are planning India me kariban abhi 30 varieties available hai. So we are planning as many as many varieties as possible. To yahan pe wapi leke aayenge hum, wapi safari me rakhenge. The safari is all set to begin in August this year after Janmashtami, the birth celebration of Hindu god Krishna. Visitors will get a guided tour to learn about the ab original breeds of cow, feed them, clean them and even milk the cattle. The visitors would also be able to transfer the entire enclosure by experiencing a safari ride on bullock carts and relish the sweets made out of cow. The visitors would also be able to transfer the entire enclosure by experiencing a safari ride on bullock carts and relish the sweets made out of cow milk. Today in our section of Asia Buzz, we will see how Japan, a world leader in producing best infrastructure, is helping India in developing smart cities. India has a plan to develop over 100 smart cities, which needs better public transportation, logistics and other amenities of world standard. We have a report. In recent years, emerging countries have faced serious traffic congestion problems due to the rapid increase of cars, as well as various issues with transportation. NEC Corporation is a leader in the integration of IT and network technologies that benefit businesses and people around the world. It announced that NEC Laboratories India has been established in July 2018 within NEC Technologies India Private Limited. This new laboratories aim to launch new businesses utilizing local know-how and big data which are acquired through existing businesses and partnerships such as the system integration for bus rapid transit PRT systems in India and logistics visualization services NC group 全体のグローバル方針があのセーファーシティということで社会基盤ソリューションに特化した事業をしております特にインドではワイヤレスソリューションの提供最近では PRT バストラッチとトランスポーテーションということでバスのロケーション管理それとフェアコレクションシステムのソリューション提供を行っております
NEC Laboratories India cooperates with India's talented IT personnel by employing highly skilled IT talent and conducting joint research with Ectamia, customers and partners. It will promote a child development and commercialization of solutions. Smart City Solution インド NEC Laboratories engage in the creation of new solutions in the fields of public transportation and logistics, public safety, digital government and cashless payment. As part of these efforts, it will accelerate and strengthen the development of solutions for society and promote the spread solutions from India to other emerging countries while placing successful parts of reverse innovation to markets throughout the world. I hope uh, this team is able to create innovative solutions, uh, leveraging uh, the technical expertise or skill sets what India has. If I look at the large social problems what country like India, which is highly populous, is facing, I, I feel that they will add value in bringing solutions, which will, which coherently, you know, matches with our vision of creating solutions for the society. Smart city solutions are currently considered in over 100 cities throughout India. By leveraging advanced IT and service know-how, Japan's technology will make a significant contribution to help solve challenges in traffic and urban infrastructures. Next, we move to Tokyo, where Akura is soon going to launch a new hotel. While the number of tourists from overseas visiting Japan grows every year, the hotel industry is required to provide sustainable and improved services for case. Hotel Okura, which is a luxury grand hotel recognized by travelers as one of the world's top hotels, announced the much-anticipated opening of the Okura Tokyo in early September of 2019, replacing the highly reputable but aging hotel Okura Tokyo. The construction work of the new wing of Hotel Okura is progressing well. There is just a year left until new main building, the Okura Tokyo, is to be completed. ということ the Hoku earthquake in 2011 was one of the reasons that led to start rebuilding. It was decided that rebuilding the hotel in order to improve seismic and vibration control was to put as a high priority in order to ensure safety and security. It also includes aspects of aging of buildings and expecting an increase in the number of international case visiting for 2020 Tokyo Olympic and Paralympic Games. <laughs> いうthe Okura Tokyo will reprise the former hotel Okura Tokyo's fame, traditional Japanese beauty, as well as its cherished simplicity and elegance, which aim to offer a new combination of traditional luxury and contemporary luxury. The concept of the Okura Tokyo is that of renewing the latest facilities and functions while inheriting traditional beauty of Japan found in old buildings. Japan's traditional hospitality will continue to be protected and pass on to next generations as a part of renewing and expanding hospitality services.
In the fourth edition of Shimla Book Festival, a small book stall became the center of attraction for the visitors. When along with selling religious books, the exhibitors also propagated the message of peace and unity that the books convey. Have a look. Mazhab nahi sikhata, aapas mein bair rakhna. Hindi hai hum, vatan hindusta hamara. It means religion does not teach us to hate each other. We are Hindustanis and Hindustan is our homeland. These lyrics from a famous patriotic song, Sare Jahan Se Achha, Hindusta Hamara, echoed loudly across the hill town of Shimla when a small book stall installed in the historic Gaiety Theatre during a book festival preached the message of religious unity and brotherhood. This book stall by the Ahmadiyya Muslim community was not only selling books to the visitors but also peace by making them understand the message that the books carry. बहुत ज़्यादा क्योंकि अगर कभी भी हमने कोई जैसे पेशवाने मज़हब का जलसा हम करते हैं कहीं भी तो हम हिंदू मज़हब के भी लीडर को भी सिख मज़हब के लीडर को भी ईसाई मज़हब के लीडर को भी उनको भी बुलाते हैं एक स्टेज पर ये आवाज़ जाती है पेशवाने मज़हब जिंदाबाद इंसानियत जिंदाबाद हिंदुस्तान जिंदाबाद बैन अवी अमन शांति जिंदाबाद ये हम कहते हैं कि देखो हर मज़हब के गुरु की इज़्ज़त करो हजर कृष्ण हजरत राम हजर गुरु बाबा नानक जितने ऋषि मुनि अवतार पैगम्बर हैं इन सब की इज़्ज़त करना मंदिर की इज़्ज़त करना गुरुद्वारे की इज़्ज़त करना मस्जिद की इज़्ज़त करना चर्च की इज़्ज़त करना और हर मज़हब की गीता हो या गुरु ग्रंथ साहब हो या कुरान हर एक की इज़्ज़त करना बल्कि अगर कोई किसी चीज़ की पूजा करता है कुरान में लिखा हुआ कोई किसी की पूजा करता है उसको गाली नहीं देना अगर तुम उसको गाली दोगे तो फिर वो तुम्हारे खुद को गालियाँ देंगे हर एक को इज्जत करनी है यही यही हम हम इन किताब में दुनिया को बता रहे हैं कि देखो सबसे प्यार करने की प्यार करना बहुत जरूरी है इसी से अमन और शांति कायम हो सकती है विजिटर्स इन लार्ज नंबर व टर्निंग अप टू द अहमदिया मुस्लिम कम्युनिटी बुक स्टॉल दैट हैज डिस्प्लेड ओवर 200 बुक्स एंडोर्सिंग वर्ल्ड पीस इन इंग्लिश हिंदी उर्दू एंड पंजाबी सम ऑफ द विजिटर्स इवन शेयर्ड विद अस देयर एक्सपीरियंसेस एंड थॉट्स अबाउट रिलीजियस इक्वालिटी मैं तो उस वक्त का आदमी हूँ जब यहाँ पर एक हिंदुस्तान था पाकिस्तान नहीं बना था हम एक क्लास में हिंदू भी पढ़ते थे मुसलमान भी पढ़ते एक डेस्क पर पढ़ते थे सिर्फ शाम को वो अपने घर चले जाते थे हम अपने घर चलते बड़ी हमारी दोस्ती होती थी ये तो जब आज़ादी आई उन्नीस में घट तब पता लगा हिंदू और होता है मुसलमान और होता है उस वक्त हमको ये ज्ञान ही था such book festivals where people not just buy books but also gain the moral knowledge should be organized on regular basis in different parts of the country so that besides respecting each other's religion people also get to learn what a particular religion teaches thus strengthening the bond of secularism yoga is often termed as a celebration of freedom of mind body and spirit India the origin of this Vedic practice is indeed the most preferred destination among the foreigners who would want to take this art of meditation back home to facilitate the seekers of internal peace and mental well-being around the globe the tourism ministry of india is on a mission to provide a peaceful and harmonious environment to multitude of tourists visiting india every year take a look the enchanting surroundings and hymns of the mantras This provides an ideal location to practice yoga, a way of life which harmonizes the body, mind and spirit. In recent years, yoga has become popular in the West, inspiring an increasing number of people to come and study it in India in traditional settings. Salvatore Eros Gencarelli, a chef based in Italy, came to India to practice yoga. and achieve spiritual enlightenment I decided to come to India because I'm a spiritual searcher and uh, I feel that here in India uh, the spiritual research uh, if practiced as a discipline uh, and practiced daily uh, it's really uh, respected and uh, uh, supported by people and institutions Yoga gains worldwide popularity after the United Nations declared June 21 as the International Day of Yoga. 
To mark the occasion every year since 2015, Government of India organizes the mega International Day of Yoga across the country. The idea being that we uh, push this uh, image of India as the birthplace of yoga, you know, and all efforts are being made to do give a lot of publicity to that and attract more and more tourists through our international campaigns also, through our fam tour programs also, and through our various other uh, uh, initiatives also. You know. The Government of India runs many institutions in the country which teaches yoga by offering short-term and diploma courses. The Muraji Desai National Institute of Yoga, an autonomous organization under the Ministry of Ayush in New Delhi, has students from parts of India and abroad. In the Western call, people go, they go for disco, they go for various activities, weekends, they enjoy, that is the material pleasure they are giving. But there is an inner, inherent need to having the internal pleasure. It is inherent in every individual. Yoga emphasizes on that inherent, inner core, where you satisfied yourself. There are several ashrams, retreats and places of yoga across India where foreigners can stay and practice yoga. Located on the banks of River Ganges in Rishikesh, the Paramat Niketan Ashram attracts many foreigners. That we call the brain. Sadhvi Bhagavati, who was raised in an American family in Hollywood, California, has been living permanently at Paramat Niketan since 1996. I had come with a backpack, just taking a couple of months on a vacation from school. But on the banks of Ganga, Something so powerful happened, so divine happened, that I knew this is where I need to stay. For centuries, India has been a mystical land of meditation and enlightenment, where spiritual traditions flourished and still continue to inspire. Yoga is an ancient Indian science of exercise and healing, which continues to attract its followers from across the world. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at suggest.myindia at gmail.com. I'm your host Chandrakala and it's goodbye from the entire production team.